how do you do welcome to creation program users tv in this class we're going to start of course discussing the kotlin java effects okay so we'll be covering uh, kotlin programming language and then also looking at the java effects so we're going to see how to like in this class we'll see how to populate a java effects list view of course from an array using the kotlin programming language okay so clearly you can see we've populated a list view with data a list of nebulas now if we click a single item in our list view then you're able to show that particular item of in a dialog so this is what we're going to see right here and as we said we we're going to implement it with the kotlin programming language so let's get started so of course go ahead create your project now once you've created your project here's my file first and foremost we're going to specify the package from which our class is going to reside so this is my class then of course we're going to make this class extend the java effects data application data application then we we'll just make sure that we add our imports now once we've done that one then of course we're going to have a variable right here we're going to initialize it to an object then we'll come right here and we're going to construct our java effects a user interface inside this particular start method now the start method is normally the entry point for all java effects applications as you can see our start method is taking in um is actually our start function is taking in of course an object uh a variable stage of of course java effects the stage the stage okay type so we come we're going to then instantiate our scene so var scene equal to new scene then we pass in a group instance okay so once we've come that one scene is actually the container that is going to host all our contents okay so the contents you're going to have right here in basically in this case which is a label and a text view yes, sorry and a, a list view our java effects list view we're going to hold them in our scene so it's seen this right here is a container so stage the title then we come and say kotlin java effects list view fill from array then you're going to come and say stage dot width we give our stage the width okay then of course we come and say stage dot height then we give it the height now once we've done that one then we're going to instantiate our label which is a non-editable text control that of course just will show as a label a caption so we pass in this one then once we've done that one we come right here we're going to set the font for our java effects so title label dot font then equal to font then we instantiate the font then pass in the lucida lucida is the font type that you're going to use while the size of the font will be 20. now once you have that one then we're going to initialize our list view so our list view equal to list view then m list view equal remember m list view was this object that we had have had right here okay so that object we assign it to our list view okay we just instantiated the list view and then now the instance of the list view we're going to assign it to this m list view which we had created okay at the class level now we come and then you're going to invoke a method that you're calling populate data then also another method that you're calling the handle data handle item click sorry then we're going to instantiate the vbox vbox is actually a layout that allows us to arrange our items vertically in a linear fashion so we set the spacing to 5.0 then the padding right here we're going to set we instantiate a pad uh, we assign it of course an insets object and we assign the top right bottom as well as left okay for our padding then we're going to come and then vbox the children dot adult then we add the title label the title label is a label and then the list view the list view that we've just instantiated once we've done that one then we're going to set alignment align them our vbox at the center of our window so vbox dot alignment equal to pose dot center then we come and say val group equal to scene the truth as group okay so scene the truth okay to get of course um our scene and then we cast it to a group safely using the as operator now we're going to assign it to the group variable now this group now normally gives us an access to an observable list 
from of which we can actually add our components okay or children so group the children we will retrieve for us that observable list then we call the add then we add our vbox in that particular group now we're going to set the layout text to 100.0 then of course we come stage the scene equal to scene we set our scene and then of course stage the show to show our window now we're going to now come and then create a method that will populate our list view with data so we come and say uh, private fund populate data then we come and say val nebula this array of and then we pass in our array objects okay so our array strings this is our data source you can see it's an array then once you've done that one then you're going to come and say val list view okay val lv list view of data type list view then m list view as list view so m list view was an object we just cast it to a list view then hold it inside this particular lv variable now once we have that one then we're going to use a for loop okay a for each loop to loop through our nebulas which is basically an array so for nebula in nebula then we come and say lv dot items dot add then we're going to add our nebulas of course inside this particular in our list view okay for each iteration so once we've done that one then we're going to come and then see how to handle the list view item clicks so it's time to handle our list view item clicks so we're going to have one simple method called handle item clicks so private fun handle item clicks then what we're going to do first we come and save our lv list view equal to m list view as list view now once we have our list view then lv dot set on mouse clicked okay so when the mouse is clicked this is what we're going to do inside our list view we're going to get the selected item so val selected item equal to lv dot selection model and then dot selected item dot to string that will give us the selected item then we come and then instantiate our alert so we're going to assign it to d val d equal to alert then alert dot alert type dot information then we pass in the text to be rendered in this case which is the selected item once we have that one then we're going to have the show method d dot show to show our alert dialog now having done that one the next thing we're going to come and then launch our application so we'll create a simple method called go fun go is taking in an array of strings then we come and say application dot launch then we pass in our args okay which is our array of strings then you're going to come and then create an object companion object then we come we inside right here this is all going to have our main method so at jvm static fun main this is our main method right here so of course it's a static method we'll come and say we'll instantiate our enabler class and then invoke the go method passing the args now this of course will uh, launch our application so that's all we need to do let's proceed over and run the project by clicking this button so if you run the project here we go we have our project creator you can see if we select an item from our list view our javafx list view then we're able to show that particular item in our dialogue okay so this is it right here we've actually looked at kotlin with javafx we're going to continue looking at two more tutorials like this one so go ahead make sure you guys subscribe like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class